The cast is a wonderful representation and an excellent summary of much of what we can know about Judith, the individual dinosaur whose bones made the improbable journey through 75 million years. A closer look at the many steps involved adds further to our understanding, adds value to our experience. I'd like to take a few minutes to share with you some of the details of the processes, beginning with Bill Shipp's initial discovery, of getting from fossils in the field to the cast you see before you. The Missouri River has carved its way into the soft Cretaceous rocks of the Judith River Formation in central Montana. This formation contains the light tan and buff colored sedimentary rocks visible in the near and middle distances in this photo. The Bears Paw Mountains are in the distance. These soft rocks are the result of mud and silt deposited by slow moving rivers during the late Cretaceous period. An environment similar to that of the Amazon Basin today. This region is now rapidly eroding, leaving the ancient sediments exposed. Each successive rainfall washes some of the reconstituted mud and silt down the slope. Where there are dead dinosaurs mixed in, their fossilized bones are eventually revealed. This was of course the case when Dr. Shipp and Gilpatrick spotted part of Judith's leg bone protruding from the hillside. Judith's excavation began the following spring. As is the nature of dinosaur digs, we couldn't have known the eventual scientific importance of our work. Each fossil bone removed led to another, and another, and another. About the time we found the first evidence of jaws, we were beginning to get excited. And with the beak, we began to consider the possibility of a scientifically important dinosaur. The first summer's field season ended with a fine collection of recovered fossil bones and with more remaining in the ground. Dr. Ship arranged for heavy equipment to remove a great deal of the overlying rock. As bones were recovered and protected, they were delivered to the preparator's facility in Hill City, South Dakota. There, the top half of each field jacket is removed. The preparators generally familiar with dinosaur morphology, make a plan for cleaning, restoring, and stabilizing each fossil bone. Much of the work is done with downsized sandblasting equipment. In the case of mudstone surrounded dinosaur bones, the bones are very resilient while the surrounding matrix is less so. The stress cracks from 75 million years of burial are filled with epoxy to stabilize the fossil and to prepare the surface for casting. 